We are interested in how emerging technologies can help amplify human expertise. So if you think about learning a manual skill or a body movement with technology, a keyboard and mouse will not be enough. We really need to think outside the box in terms of what new devices are best suited for this kind of purpose. The project aims at enhancing the student mastery of manual skill for physiotherapy teaching by creating a new channel of interaction between the teacher and the students. So we combine different technologies including 3D printing, um, digital foam sensor and visualisation feedback so that we can provide the authenticity of the human spine. The system consists of a 3D printed spine uh, with soft foam used between each vertebra to replicate the intervertebral disc. Uh, this spine lays down on individual supports for each vertebra. Below each pair of supports there is a sensor unit uh, which consists of a conductive foam cylinders embedded into a soft medium. These cylinders uh, change the resistance value uh, when deformed, making it possible to measure the deformation and the force applied to them. What's new about our device is that it uses a smartphone that senses its own deformation so that when the student presses on the spine, we're able to detect how much force the student is exerting and use this information to give feedback to the student. The spinal lock actually represents the real-life conditions of the patients with the different stiffness of the spine. This was not previously possible in current practice where the students act as the patients and work um, on each other as a group. So they're not coming in with a back problem, they don't have the range of um, variation in someone's spine that someone who's got a problem might have. So it's hard for students to get a sense of the resistance, for example, and how that might work in a real clinical situation. As well, it's hard for students just on observation to pick up the subtle amplitude that we're exhibiting when we do a, an assessment or a technique. There is a lot for students to learn, a lot of skills for them to develop, and we know that feedback really helps students with their learning. So having opportunities to use technology like the spinal log is just superb because students get very clear and immediate feedback on an authentic feeling spine. Physiotherapy in Australia, but particularly in, in Melbourne, has had a long tradition of being innovative. And I think we're part of that tradition. It, it helps to provoke an understanding between the patient and a, a clinician, diagnosis and cure, and also uh, an instructor and a, and, a, and a student. So it gives us new insights around, around that relationship. The Spinal Law also allowed them to do out of class practice, which allowed them to translate theoretical um, learning into manual skills, which they need for the workforce they will have a better experience, they'll learn faster and more accurately and they'll be able to mimic what the practitioner is doing in a more authentic way so that when they see patients they'll be better prepared for the sorts of techniques that they need to apply in a variety of contexts. Getting them to accelerate their learning through using the spinal log I think will really be a step forward in helping prepare them to work with patients with back pain.